The absolute best way to succeed in the blockchain space is to find new ecosystems with insane growth potential before they blow up. Just like if you'd found Bitcoin when it first came out, or Ethereum, or Solana, the upside would have been massive. And in this video, I want to talk about a new blockchain network that's continuing to grow at a rapid pace, that has tremendous growth potential in the next month, and most importantly, over the coming years. I'm going to explain exactly what it is in this video today, and more importantly, how to take advantage of this opportunity, especially if you are a blockchain developer or an aspiring developer. I'm going to talk about all this in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the massive opportunity that's happening in the crypto space right now, I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer step-by-step -step to start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this new blockchain network that's continuing to take off like a rocket. Well, it's the TUN network created by Telegram. Now, I've previously spoken about this on my channel a few times over the past year or so, but a lot has happened in this ecosystem. So here's what you need to know. So first, let's start off with the TUN coin. Okay, so obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is not going to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based information. This is not a sponsor video or anything. I just like to keep you all up to date with what's gaining traction in this space and let you know about opportunities as they arise. But, you know, the TUN coin kind of came out of nowhere and shot up to being a top 10 market cap cryptocurrency earlier this year. And it's performed very well from a price perspective throughout 2024, uh, despite lots of other cryptocurrencies going down, though it has had a small correction, just like everything else recently. But it's not the ton coin that I want to focus on in this video today. It's actually the ton network, the underlying blockchain behind the cryptocurrency, because it has grown tremendously. And it's continuing to grow with lots of upside potential from here. So why is that? So reason number one is the total addressable market. So Telegram is one of the largest messaging apps out there. Also social apps that has almost a billion users. So over just over 900 million at the time of recording this video. So it has a massive user base that it can instantly onboard into using its blockchain network because it's seamlessly integrated into the platform. That's because you can use the ton user interface in a primarily mobile first way, and you can easily tap into that large user base inside the Telegram application itself. Reason number two is it solves a big problem in crypto, which is onboarding and user experience. Because currently blockchains and blockchain apps are pretty clunky in the sense that you get to buy crypto somewhere else, you have to move it to a wallet that you install onto a device that you don't really use prior to that. And they have to connect it to our web browser to access this rich ecosystem. But not with this. You can do everything in a mobile first way, onboarding directly from Telegram. The next big reason is utility. Okay, there's actual utility for the ton coin besides just price speculation. You know, for instance, Telegram uses ton chain for ad payments, offering a 50% revenue share. Uh, to channel owners who use TON for their ad transactions. On top of that is differentiation. Okay, so TON is actually getting traction in areas where other chains are failing. Things like gaming, which is one pretty big hot sector for the crypto space, and also social because, you know, Telegram is a social platform in itself. And this can also become a contender in other big blockchain niches like DeFi, which is the largest use case for crypto and all blockchain technology. But most importantly, this has actual adoption, actual traction right now, and a lot of continued growth trajectory from here. Okay, so now that we've discussed the strong fundamentals of the TUN network and the future growth potential, let's talk about the big opportunity associated with this. Now, obviously, there could be some opportunity on the investment side. However, that's not why I'm making this video. It's not financial advice, I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. And past price performance is not necessarily an indicator of what's going to happen in the future. But the big opportunity I want to talk about is how to leverage the ton technology itself if you're trying to make it in this industry. And this is mostly for developers or aspiring developers. So let me explain. So anytime there's a new technology like this that's growing rapidly, there's going to be all kinds of people who are trying to make stuff with it. And there's going to be a huge shortage of qualified people who can actually build stuff with the technology itself. So this leads to a big supply and demand imbalance, and which creates a huge opportunity for developers. So imagine if you were like one of the first people who knew HTML in the 90s when the web was booming, okay? 
Think about what type of opportunities that would have led to. Or if you had learned smart contracts when they first came out, like when Ethereum launched, if you'd learned Solidity, you, it would have been absolutely insane. I mean, it still is, but I can tell you from experience, I was there, it was absolutely crazy. Or like when the AI wave hit, if you had become one of the first developers to get on that technology, it would have been insane. So a very similar type of thing could be happening here. And, you know, because my team and I at Dapp University have been monitoring what's been happening inside these TUN communities, I can tell you there's all kinds of people looking to create applications with TUN and there's very few developers who know how to do anything with it. So all you need is number one, a little bit of knowledge to get started. And number two, you need to get connect connected with other people who are trying to create stuff with this new technology. So let's outline how that works. Okay, so first let's start off with the knowledge component of this. Now, thankfully, when new stuff comes out like this, the bar for becoming an expert is pretty low on the grand scheme of things because, well, you know, number one, the competition's pretty low. And number two, you know, whenever people are trying to create stuff with new technology, they're typically pretty forgiving because they're realizing they were all trying to get this stuff figured out at the same time. So really, you just need to know enough to be dangerous to be considered, you know, an expert in this new technology because there's no real experts out there. And then you learn what you need to learn in order to complete each task as it arises. So what do you need to know? So in order to learn TUN, you'll need to learn a new programming language. So TUN has its own proprietary programming language that it uses to write smart contracts. That's because, you know, TUN has its own virtual machine called the TVM or TUN virtual machine. And it's, you know, it's different from other Ethereum compatible chains or EVM chains. It doesn't use Solidity. It doesn't use Rust like Solana. You have to work with its virtual machine and its programming language uh, called Fun C or Funk. I'm not really even sure how you pronounce it. I've just seen it written out. So it's a statically typed domain specific programming language specifically designed for writing smart contracts on the open network or TUN blockchain. It provides a unique and tailored approach to programming contract logic on the TUN platform. So that's what the language is, but how do you learn it? So the first step would be to check out the overview of the programming link language here on the Telegram website. Basically, you can go to the documentation for Telegram just Google Telegram docs, you'll be taken to docs.tun.org and you can see this uh, fun C overview right here. But that's just an overview of the language. So the next good idea would be to get your hands dirty with the code by creating your first smart contract. And you can go find that by using this guy. Go to the documentation, go to the smart contracts, go to introduction. You'll see this here. Ton hello world step-by-step -step guide for writing your first smart contract. Basically, this is going to take you through uh, the steps on how to set up your development environment and create a basic contract, like a counter contract on how to just read and write from the blockchain itself with that specific programming language. Now, next, once you've done the basics, I would advise doing a little more sophisticated tutorial that'll let you create a full stack application that does more. So you can see different tutorials here on Ton Speedrun. Okay, they've got examples for an NFT deployment, a chat bot, a vending machine, more complicated stuff like a raffle, marketplace, and a quest game. So you can find all the code for these and the walkthroughs on this website, tonspeedrun.com. If you like books, you can check out this fun C cookbook on the Telegram documentation. It'll walk you through some code examples on how to do basic things inside the programming language, all the way through doing some more sophisticated things. And if you're coming from a different blockchain background, I highly recommend checking out this part of the documentation that talks about uh, the transition from Ethereum to TUN and the parallels and differences between the EVM and the Solidity programming language. Okay, so that's an overview on some guides that you can use to get started developing with TUN to actually acquire the skills, okay? But if you want to see any content on this channel on how to make something with TUN, then make sure you drop a comment down below and I'll consider creating tutorials on this channel. All right, so that's an overview of how to get started creating apps for the TUN network. So once you've got these technical skills under your belt, how can you actually find the opportunities? Because that's the other half of the equation. Well, the basic idea is that you want to get in front of other people where they're talking about TUN development, because number one, that's going to attract people who are trying to create things with TUN. And number two, you'll be able to connect with those people that way. So where are some places you can do this? Well, funny enough, you know, Telegram itself has a ton of channels that will allow you to do this, okay? because they've created lots of communities around TUN development. So you can see them listed here. If you go to the community tab and go to the TUN developers kit, that's gonna take you to a bunch of Telegram channels that are related to TUN development. And so if you get inside of those communities, 
you're going to find something very funny, okay? You'll quickly see they're filled with a lot more people who are trying to create things on the Ton network rather than actual developers inside these chats, okay? So said another way, there's a much higher ratio of gold miners to developers uh, in these communities, okay? So if you jump inside of these and you become a Ton expert and start contributing, the possibilities are promising, okay? So, so how do you do this? Well, you don't want to just join one of these networks and say, you know, hi, everybody, I'm so-and-so, I'm a developer, I'm looking for work. You know, that, that could get you some traction, but let me explain a better way. What you want to do is actually get in these groups and provide value and engage. So, and then once you do that, the opportunities could come to you. So what are some ideas on how you could do that? Well, a pretty simple way would be to just create, show something that you've created, okay? So once you've gone through the examples that I talked about before, and then you've gone on to create your own application that's not like from a tutorial, you could build that and then talk about it in one of these communities and share your learnings because that is adding value to the community. It's community for developers. You're explaining how you did something and that you've contributed to the ton ecosystem. And then all the people who are inside those chats looking at it, they're going to see that you're a developer, that you have proof of skills, and they can reach out to you because ton, you know, your Telegram is an open chat network. And if you rinse and repeat this strategy and engage and establish a presence in these communities and become known, uh, you might be surprised at what can happen. All right, so that's an overview of the ton network, the massive upside of this ecosystem and how you can leverage your technical skills to take advantage of this opportunity. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the ton network? And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything that I've been talking about in this video today, I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.